Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to lower the spare tire and change the spare tire. It's pretty much the same on all trucks. So first you're going to want to find your equipment for this. It's usually located under the rear seat. So in this case, there's a little pull tab here that you yank down on and lift the seat up. Okay, so here it is under the seat with some instructions on it too. And here's the actual jack. And you'll see it sits inside this little bracket and by expanding the jack, it holds it in place. So you can usually do this by hand. And just loosening this up, you'll be able to get the jack out of here eventually as it gets small enough. Next, you wanna make sure your truck is on flat and level ground, asphalt if possible. And uh, then make sure that you have it in park and then apply the parking brake so that it doesn't roll. If it's four wheel drive, make sure it's still in too high or four high, but not in neutral. Okay, also turn on your hazard lights if you're on the side of the road so that people don't run into you. And here is a diagram here. We're gonna chalk the wheels and you chalk it opposite tire of uh, which one's flat. So you put the wheel chalks that they provide here. There's one on the front and then there's one here on the back. Next, you're gonna look for the little door here and uh, as you open it up, you'll see a little lock. And so you're gonna need the key from your vehicle and if you have a key fob on a newer one, you push a little button and it will pop out. You can see my other video on that. I'll put the link in the description. But uh, basically you're just taking your key and as you put it in here and turn it, it's going to unlock it and you can pull this cylinder out. Now these rust all the time, so yeah, you might wanna just remove it while you can and just throw it away. No one's gonna really steal your spare tire. Okay, uh, here's the kit too that you're gonna have uh, for assembling these rods that we're gonna put together. And so it's just kind of like assembling a tent. If you've ever done that, there's these little buttons. And so basically you push down on the button as you slide the pole uh, and connect them together. Now next we're gonna put this whole pole in and slide it into that little hole. And you want the squared off end like this that has the square exposed to go in first. So we're gonna go ahead and just thread it through this hole. And keep in mind there's a little square inside there that we need it to line up with. So you can turn it back and forth with your hand gently until it finally lines up and it, you should feel it kind of go into place. Uh, next you can connect the tire iron to the end of it so you can turn it into a handle like this. And notice as I'm turning it counterclockwise, the tire is dropping down to the ground. Uh, so you want to let it go all the way until the tire is pretty much flat hitting the ground. You can move it a little bit around to help it if it gets a little bound up. But you just want to loosen it until it's laying flat on the ground. Now here's one of the most important parts. Everybody tries to remove the actual end of this cable and that's not how it works. What you want to do is get under here, lift the tire, then grab the end of it and point it vertical and stick it through the hole of the tire. Okay, that way it's free and uh, you don't have to disassemble anything or break anything. It's not designed to be disassembled. So that's how uh, you would get it disconnected and then you'll just move the tire outside of the vehicle, un out from underneath the vehicle. Now, if uh, you're doing this at home by chance, it's always a good idea to get some lubrication, some grease or some uh, lubrication oil for chains and spray it on this uh, cord so that as it binds up, it doesn't rust anymore and stays nice and lubricated. Next, we need to remove the lug nuts. Now on this model, it has these fake lug nuts that go around first. So you just go around and loosen these and uh, they don't come off. They just uh, spin until they're free and then that cap will come off. And so this is kind of an older style, not uh, a lot of cars do this anymore. But anyway, here's the lug nuts. And these ones, you'll tell they're metal, they're the real thing. So we're gonna break these loose just a quarter of a turn. Do not remove them all the way right now. You don't want the wheel to fall off. But you're gonna go around on each of these and uh, you're just gonna put uh, your tire iron on like this and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise and just turn it a quarter of a turn. Next, you're gonna take the bottle jack and you're going to extend it until it's touching. And so where they want this is between the shock absorber and then this bracket here. So right there on the axle. And you wanna make sure that it's centered. So you wanna feel it on both sides and get it as centered as you can. And so you're gonna turn this clockwise by hand the most that you can until it's touching. Now, if it's the front of the vehicle, you're just gonna do it here on the frame. So same thing, you're gonna turn it clockwise until it touches. 
And so this is right on the frame. Just make sure that it's not on the part that's going upward. You want it on the flat part of the frame under here. And so there is a diagram showing this on two wheel drive. It's a little different. It's a little farther up front. Um, but for a four wheel drive, you're just having it there on the frame. It also shows you the diagram like we just showed you underneath where it goes. And so two wheel drive and four wheel drive, there is a small difference. So just keep that in mind and uh, review these instructions if you have the two wheel drive one, but we're putting it right there between those two. Next, you want the pole that has this hook end to it. Notice how long you can make this by attaching it. And that's the idea so that you don't have to be under the vehicle as you're lifting it up. So notice with this end, as you put it in, you lift up, you slide it in, and then as it's somewhat level, it should stay in and not come out very easily. That allows you to be way out from underneath the vehicle as you're cranking this up. Uh, it's kind of a slow process, but it doesn't take a lot of strength, and they have it geared that way. And you just want to turn it until the tire's barely off the ground, but keep in mind if you have a flat tire, uh, when you put an inflated tire on, it might need to go up a little higher, and you don't want to get back under there and be cranking it, so uh, it's better just to go a little higher. Then remove the rest of those lug nuts. Next, remove the tire and roll it away. Uh, just make sure you're not underneath the vehicle at any time or anybody else's either. Roll in your spare tire. And so uh, line it up with the lug nut holes the best that you can. And if it's not too far off the ground, it's not going to be uh, too hard just to line it back up and uh, get it back on there. Now what you'll want to do is put the lug nuts on opposite of each other. And so I like to put one on the bottom and one also on the top. And that just kind of holds the wheel on you want it flat against uh, the wheel hub and uh, then just put them all on by hand as tight as you can okay next I'm gonna tighten the lug nuts down and notice how I'm going opposite of each other so whichever lug nut I tighten down I'm going to the opposite one across from that and that's called the star pattern and that way it seats the wheel uh, properly so notice how I'm getting them snug but I'm not uh, completely yanking on it right now you don't want it to come off of that jack. Once they're all pretty well secure and tight, then you can tighten them down some more. And at that point, if it were to fall off the jack, then the tire at least is secure. But uh, from here, you wanna just make sure that you're getting them pretty much as tight as you can with that little bar. Now, if you do have the wheel hub like this with the cap, uh, you can leave it off just to remind you that it needs to go and be tightened. And once again, we're going opposite like this as you tighten them. But uh, if you take it to a tire shop or you're going to go have it fixed, you can leave this cap off. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to tighten these back on. And uh, so just uh, make sure that you have it properly torqued once you get it home. Okay, next as you're reinstalling this part, you want to make sure that you lift the tire up and pull it through vertical, just the way that it came out. And make sure that that centers as you lift it. Now, as we are lifting this back up, you want to tilt the tire so that it goes up first towards the front of the vehicle. So I'll show you this angle again here. This is pointing upward towards the front of the vehicle or it won't come up right. So you'll notice it's the opposite of how it came down. But uh, you won't be able to get it to fit up in there unless it's angled nose up on that far end. So as you do that, go ahead and crank it and you'll see now it fits perfectly into the back here. And uh, again, you just want to make sure that you're centering it on that little wing nut there. And uh, you don't need to get it too tight, just make sure that it's snug. Okay, next we're just going to remove the pole here. And if you want to reinstall your key. And uh, honestly, I'd probably just end up throwing this thing away. It's really not, uh, I don't think anybody's going to steal your spare tire, but you never know. Then uh, go ahead and start uh, lowering this down just as the opposite and uh, remove the wheel chocks once it's all the way done. Got the one on the uh, front of the tire and the one on the back of the tire. And uh, then we're going to put the bottle jack together and this is the orientation. You're going to take this little clip here and it's going to go around the base of the jack and you want the jack handle facing you, the little wheel that turns. And notice we're going to have that go up through the hole of the wheel chocks and then tighten it down or with the wing nut. Uh, next it just goes into its place here so you just scoot it in and then as you tighten the jack again you, you open the jack up to lift it will 
wedge itself back into its place. So that's how to drop the spare tire and change it. And uh, I'll put a playlist of all the other videos I've done on this truck. So thanks for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.